Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today we're going to talk about dating and relationship phone etiquette. Now this is very important because we're all on our phones continually now. That seems to be our major form of communication. We're texting more, we're calling less. But the big problem is the phones are constantly in our hands and this is causing a lot of problems in relationships and even just getting started when you're dating somebody. So the first one that you really have to be careful about because it implies a lot of stuff here, like very secretive stuff, is when you put your phone down on the table so it's face down. So the person that you're sitting with, whether it's a date or your, your partner, they're saying, why are you hiding the face? What don't you want me to see? So this is implying that you're hiding something. Now I know some people say, well, when you put the phone down on the table like that, it's less rude because then you're not seeing all these flashes coming up all the time. But the big thing to do here and the etiquette is put your phone away when you're engaging in conversation with anyone. It doesn't matter whether it's your partner or somebody you've just met. It's just rude to have your phone constantly dinging or even if you've got it on vibrate and it's making a noise on the table or wherever you're sitting. These are things that can be so annoying. And when you're sitting there with somebody and their phone is doing this, it doesn't make you feel very special. It makes you feel like you're not a very big priority, that their phone is more of the priority. Also, if you leave the room and you always take your phone with you, like you're afraid to leave it anywhere that someone can see a text or whatever might be coming in as a message on the, on the face of the phone. This again sets off warning signs to people that you're with, if it's your partner or a date, that you've got other things on the go and you may be dating more than one person or if you're in a relationship, you've got something going on on the side that's a little bit secretive and you don't want your partner to know. Not, none of these situations are okay. And if your partner, like some people don't agree with giving their passwords to their partners, which I'd say probably a majority of people don't agree with it. I think if you're in a great relationship and it's honest and trustworthy that all the time you're gonna maybe use their phone. So you might know their password or you might at least be allowed to use their phone after they unlock it. If your partner is not allowing that at all, like you can't even look at their phone for a second, they are hiding something. Because when you're being honest, you don't have anything to hide. You're being upfront. So this is super important to watch if this is becoming a regular situation in your home or on your dates. They have take, they, if they keep going to the bathroom on a date and they're back and forth all the time, they take their phone. They're probably in there checking messages from other people. The best etiquette for every situation, even if you're with a friend or you're with a colleague, put your phone away. Because if you can't let your phone go for half an hour or an hour when you're out having a coffee or something like that, then you've got some situation here that you're gonna to have to work on because people are gonna eventually give up on you if they feel they're being they're in competition with your phone. It's really rude. And in a relationship, if you're taking your phone to bed and looking at it while you're beside your partner, or you take it even on a romantic intimate moment, this is not good. Put your phone on the charger, turn off the ringer, and if you have a loud vibrator, shut the phone off because your partner wants to know that they're special for that time. So one big thing for me is uh, I do like texting. Like a lot of people don't really like it. They'd rather talk on the phone in my age group, but I like it because it gives me freedom to keep working and just send a quick text back if they're just looking for an answer. But I am finding that a lot of people now are texting continually. There's not a lot of phone conversations. There's not a lot of voice inflection or I, um, FaceTime where you're looking at each other. And this is really important to keep your relationship alive and to get your dating, if you're interested in something, to get it off to a good place because texting can be really convoluted. You can look at it and read a totally different message from it than maybe it's being meant. And this is a big problem and why a lot of couples, some of them break up over text because of how it's coming across. 
You need to have conversations. You need to pick up the phone. If you're sending out texts that are like two pages long, that's a phone call. People don't have time to sit there and dissect what you're saying in a text all the time. If you've got something to say and you, you've got something you want to express, pick up the phone and talk to them. It's really important that you do that because if you become dependent on, you know, one or two line texts, that's the way your relationship starts to communicate. Even when you're together, when you're seeing each other in person, it can take on that same sort of tone. So keep things alive by communicating verbally and seeing them in person. Try not to make texting your total form of conversation and don't text them 25 times a day either whether you're in a relationship or you're just newly dating. It's annoying to have these ding, ding, dings go off all day. Just find something good to talk about, send the message, let it go, wait for your response. One last thing before we go here, I really, really stress to people that when someone texts you, whether it's a loved one or a new interest, new love interest, do not make them wait for an answer when you text them, once, once they text you. Make sure that you answer within an hour or maybe two hours. But if you can't talk, just say, look, I'm really sorry. I'm in a meeting. I'm doing something. I'll, I'll text you as soon as I'm out. Just let them know that they're not an afterthought, that you did see the text. And there's no games. There's no games about when you're going to text back. So I hope all those little tidbits help because it's really important now because that is our communication. So thanks so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave your comments. What have you done with your etiquette? What have you changed or what bothers you? What would you like to see changed with your partner on a date or even just with your friendships? Let me know, leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much everyone, bye-bye.